hello my loves and welcome back to miss t entertainment thank you so much for joining us now yesterday we discovered that dr nandi pamagodumane tried to smudge her fingerprint while collecting the body of katle hobaring mpolo reason why i'm saying tried is because she was not successful even though she tried they were still able to actually trace it back to her and that same document where she smudged her fingerprint on was the document that was able to produce who the body belonged to uh, hence the mother was then called to come and uh, uh, take those blood dna samples to identify now this wicked doctor deliberately did all of this to try and mask a trail so that if there were ever any suspicions or there was a need for investigations no one would be able to trace this back to her but Luckily for Ukahlego, she failed. Ukahlego's ancestors and the God that he worshipped said, No, ma'am, no, it is not going to happen, not with this soul. And thank God for that. Karen Mon, a legal journalist from E! News 24, was also able to kind of give us a description of how the authorities described Nandipa's behavior on the day. They said she protested and gave them a fight until they told her it was either she gives the fingerprint or she leaves the body. That was the only options and uh, that's when she quickly came up with that idea she was also able to give us some clarity on how Katleho's body landed up in Salt 35 in Mangawung which was not by accident it was actually planned um, they actually went out to get him uh, she also explained how Mr. Lukolo, when he was doing his light detector test, mentioned that there was a, a conversation that he overheard of uh, um, two security guards who would go out to do some kidnapping and they were, those security guys would then be responsible to bring that body back into the prison. Mr. Mpolo, whose Katleho's father, was also able to give us a connection between Katleho and one of the accused as they would drink in the same taverns and they supported the same team. So there's also that link that we also have that proves that this was not a coincidence. And we also know that Katleho's death was not uh, of natural causes. He was killed. Um, so that also adds there. The mother of the kids also mentioned that on the night that he was uh, kidnapped or he went missing, he was looking after the kids. So he came to drop the kids and say, can you just look after them? I will come and get them. I just received a call. I quickly need to run and meet these people. Uh, then that was the day he met with his kidnappers and uh, that was the last time they ever saw him. Gatleho uh, was actually chosen because of his age. Uh, Tabo Besa is a year older than him and because of his body structure they look more or less the same height and same uh body shape and same size so those were the reasons that uh, made these people go after his life they they overlooked the fact that he was someone's son he was someone's father he was a boyfriend he was a hard-working man who wanted to raise his kids to them he just became the balance in the words of dr nandi pamagodumane she said in everything you do look out for balance not perfection so that's what he became to them just mere balance i don't even want to say may his soul rest in peace because our one Ah, oh, why you cannot rest mm -mm, don't rest not now not yet please don't rest please fight until these people actually get what they deserve uh please do let me know down below what you think of this one and if you are still here just know i love and appreciate you a lot please do not leave without giving this video a thumbs up and if this is the kind of content you like please do hit that subscription button as it will help me to grow my community and hopefully get that revenue other than that i'll see you all in my next upload thank you so much for being here